Hi, hope you're all doing well today and welcome to the second video of the How To series. Today I'll be showing how you can submit a returns request on our site Tegawa Imports and Tegawa Euro. A few side notes before I get into it. The returns and refund process is the same for Tegawa Imports and Tegawa Euro. We offer a 14 day returns and refund policy from the date of delivery. The parcel must be returned in brand new condition, unopened and in the original packaging. And in this case, you will receive a full refund to the value of the order. However, the customer must cover for the delivery cost to send the product or order back. This applies to all orders with us unless products that are ordered in error or that you change your mind on will be entitled to a credit note at our discretion. Products that are faulty due to manufacturing process are entitled to a credit note under the manufacturer's warranty for a limited time specified in the manufacturer's terms and conditions, usually around three months. If a product is credit noted due to manufacturing defects, the buyer is responsible for the return of the goods to such address as directed by the supplier. We will then offer you a credit note on return including a maximum of £10 postage costs. All customers should use parcel to go for anything other than a small jiffy bag where the post office can be used. With this service, you can send up to 25 kg for £10 and that is the maximum we will refund on return postage fees that are because of our error. This does not affect your statutory rights. Products that are damaged in transit to the customer cannot be refunded. If a product is damaged in transit, the customer must not sign for the delivery. Instead, the customer must refuse delivery by the courier and then contact us for further details through our phone line 01782 334440 or by email on Tegawa Euro, web sales at tegawa or through Tegawa Imports, web sales at tegawaimports.com. If you checked out as a guest user when ordering, please skip to 3 minute and 38 seconds of the video. If you already have an account with us, then carry on watching. Firstly, you will need to be logged into your account and to do so, you will need to click the login text at the top right hand corner of the page. Once logged in, you can access your account dashboard by clicking my account. From here, you will need to click on my returns, which is located on the right hand side and then you'll be able to see my return requests, which will have all your recent orders that you can select and start the return process by clicking return. You'll be then taken to this form. You will need to fill in all the required fields accordingly. And if you wish to add additional items to the returns, you can click add items to the returns and continue the process. You can add comments to your request and upload an image. Once the returns request has been submitted, we will review the request and respond to you with a return slip that you will need to print out and include inside the parcel. However, if you do not have a printer, you must write down your RMA number and include it within the parcel. If you fail to include the return slip or the return ID number, we won't be able to process your return. To view your return request, you need to go back to your account dashboard and click My Returns. Finally, if you pay through PayPal, you can opt in for return shipping on us via your PayPal account. To find out more, click the link in the description. If you checked out without creating an account and want to create a return request, you need to go to the homepage of either Tegwa Imports or Tegwa Euro and scroll down to the bottom and locate Returns. And under the return procedure, you click the blue hyperlink here text. You will need to enter the email address you have used when ordering, as well as your order number. This will take you to your return request, which you will be able to select the order you want to return and then click return. You'll be taken to the same returns form as if you ordered with an account. You will need to fill in all the required fields accordingly. You can add comments to your request and upload an image. Once the returns request has been submitted, we will review the request and respond to you with a return slip that you will need to print out and include inside the parcel. However, if you do not have a printer, you must write down your RMA number and include it within the parcel. If you fail to include the return slip or the return ID number, we won't be able to process your return. Finally, if you pay through PayPal, you can opt in for return shipping on us via your PayPal account. To find out more, click the link in the description. 
So that concludes this video. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for future uploads. See you all later.